So today we're gonna talk about where you should keep your emergency fund because this is one of the biggest questions that I get all the time. A lot of people say, should you invest your emergency fund? Should you put it in some low cost index funds or something of that nature? Or should I just keep my emergency fund in a regular old fashioned savings account? So today we're gonna dig into that question. Now my number one place to put an emergency fund and my favorite place to put an emergency fund is a high yield savings account. Now, a lot of you may have a pretty big emergency fund. So to put it in a high yield savings account, you're going to think you're going to lose out on a lot of opportunity. But what an emergency fund is there for is to bail you out when life happens, because life is going to happen. It's not if life is going to happen. It's when life is going to happen. So this is an extremely important thing to understand. And as you start your wealth building journey, the emergency fund should be the very first thing that you do. So this is why we have it in a high yield savings account. So typically high yield savings accounts will pay anywhere between half a percent all the way up to one and a half to two and a half percent, depending on when you're watching this video. But it's extremely important to utilize a high yield savings account so that you don't lose your emergency fund when you need it most. Say, for example, you lose your job and you invest your emergency fund in the market and there's a recession and your emergency fund gets cut in half in a recession because those dollars are invested and you lose your job at the same time. That would not be a good situation to be in. So this is why we talk about putting our emergency fund in a high yield savings account as the number one safest way to keep your emergency fund. The next one is a money market account. Now a money market account is an account that's very similar to a high yield savings account, but all it is, is a way for you to also get higher interest rates on your money. And a money market account is liquid. It has a lot of other benefits as well, but a money market account is another safe place that you can keep that emergency fund so those dollars are protected. Now there's two others that we're gonna talk about today if you have short-term savings goals. Now these may not be the best for emergency funds because they're not as liquid as these other options. So there's a couple things you can do. You can put half your emergency fund into a high yield savings account or into a money market account and then put the other half in these higher interest rate options or you can just leave it all in the first two options. But these other options are less liquid, meaning you can't pull them out right away if you need them right away, which is what an emergency fund is intended to do. But if you have a short term savings goal, maybe you're trying to save up for a house or you're trying to save up for a new car in the next couple of years, then these may be cool options for you as well to get that higher interest rate. So the third one, if you have a short term savings goal to put it into would be an I bond. Now there's a lot of pros and cons to I bonds, but I bonds keep up with inflation, which is one of the reasons why I like them. So at the time I'm recording this, we're in a very weird time where inflation is very high. So the I bonds are very high. They're above 7% because of that reason. And they are safer than stocks and corporate bonds as well. So you could put your money into an I bond, you get that 7% every single year, and you can keep up with inflation. The downside is in most situations, you can't even pull your money out for 12 months. And if you do pull your money out earlier, you're gonna face a 5% penalty. Now that'll eat away at the entire reason that you did this if you have to pull it out early. So don't put any money in that you need within a year, two years, or if you need it for emergencies as well. So you can't get a large amount of money if you have a big lump sum. You can't put it all into an I-bond all at once. Now the last option is a CD or a CD ladder. Now the way a CD works is for example, you can buy a one year CD or 12 month CD where you put your money into that CD, you collect an interest rate of say two to 5%, and then you can pull your money out of the CD once it matures after those 12 months. But the thing about CDs is if the interest rate is the same, like it is at the time of recording this of a high yield savings account, then you're much better off putting it in a high yield savings account because the high yield savings account is completely liquid. You don't have to wait that 12 months to, for that money to mature before you can pull it out. But if it's not in that situation and the CD has a much higher interest rate, which happens a lot, then what would happen is it'd be good to put some money into a CD and maybe start what is called a CD ladder. Now, what a CD ladder is, is say, for example, you need $1,000 a month potentially that you're gonna utilize this money for. So you put $1,000 a month the first month into the CD ladder, $1,000 a month in the second month, third month, fourth month, all the way across the 12 months. And then each month, the CD ladder is going to start maturing. So you're gonna get your $1,000 in that you can utilize right when you need it. So this is one way to set it up where if you need an emergency fund set up in a CD ladder, you can do it in this ladder effect where you put your monthly expenses in and it matures at that final date. Now listen, if you guys liked this video, make sure you hit the like button down below. And if you have any questions, 
make sure you leave a comment as well. And make friends in the comments. Virtual high five somebody in the comments. Have a good time in there. And if you have any other questions, make sure you leave them in the comments as well. And I'll make sure to answer each and every single one of them. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you liked this video, here are two more videos that I know you're going to love. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And we will see you on the next video.